morning traders, good morning Asia, fellow privateers, welcome to the Tuesday, March 20th Asia preview. And the North American wrap, we actually had some movement today for a Monday, which is very rare. So let's get right to the charts and uh, we'll take a look at the stocks. So obviously everyone is very familiar with the Facebook news that sent Facebook down is about just under, well here it is, just under 7%. It was down about 7.5-8% at one point today. Uh, it, it dragged the rest of the tech sector down in the, uh, in the S&P 500. So you can see here we got down, the market knows this Fibonacci swing. Again, I try to keep the technical is very simple. I look at trend lines and horizontal tr horizontal trend lines. I look at Fibonacci's and I look at some moving averages. Aside from that, there's no reason to get, you know, too too tied to the uh, to all the other other indicators because this is pure supply and demand and the Fibonacci sequences. Um, but you can see low day was 98, 2698. The FIBO is 2700 ish. A nice 20 handle bounce late in the day. That's standard for stocks. Looks like the smart money guys actually came in buying it today. Um, we're down a little bit. Not, no real news here in early Asia. 100 day moving average, and the SPs is down here at 2689. You see how we. We did breach this, but we couldn't close below it since the big sell-off, and obviously the the major 200-day is what held it down at 25.30 in the uh, VIX implosion in, in early February. So I think this is the new FIB swing that the market's respecting, clearly, with this big bounce. We are bearish still. We think we can get back down and retrace some of this. No reason for us not to get down to 2,600. You know, even down to the, the 200 day, which is rising at 2580. Uh, the NASDAQ, we clean up these fibs. These are old fibos. I haven't refreshed this in a while. Um, let's do that same fib swing. Now, let's remember the NASDAQ actually went and made a new high for the whole move. So we took out these old, old, old highs. Here are the February highs, 7050-ish. Went all the way up to 72 and change. <clears throat> and isn't that cute? Here's your Fibo, one third. Got really close today, 6815. Low is 6821. Had a decent little bounce, 100 point bounce. These are tradable bounces intraday. 100 days down here at 66. Which, you know, within with the NASDAQ, 30, 40 points, 50 points even, is good confluence. And that's a two-thirds FIB. So let's see how things play out. I mean, the Facebook news was definitely bearish. Um, excuse me. me um, yeah so we're still bearish the equities we're, we're looking to sell rallies um, was this a one-day wonder on, on a Monday volume probably wasn't great we are in kind of the spring break pre-easter getting to pre-easter markets um, let's take a look at cable cable is the biggest mover the strongest today clean up this chart, which is good. Makes me do some more work. Broke 140. These old highs, this consolidation, broke that very clean break straight up to 141, 140.88 high. Came off a little bit. I think maybe some sterling and selling, um, but this is bullish, and there was some positive news out of the Brexit uh, EU negotiations, which are taking place on the 20. 2nd, 23rd, 
21st, 22nd, in a couple days' time. So for us, we played the break. We did pretty well on it. We're still long. We took some off, obviously. Um, the dollar in general was uh, under a bit of pressure. Here's the dollar index daily chart. We got decent red bar. It was down about a half percent today. Australian dollar, doji-ish, we're negative on the day, um, with RBA minutes coming up. We have uh, looked at sterling, here's New Zealand dollar, we tried to sell it, we just missed, we were trying to sell 72.75s today, uh, got up to a high of 60 something 62 I think was a high so we just missed selling that might still have a chance this is kind of a I think we talked about this last yesterday on the open uh, trying to sell Kiwi rally as well it, it you know it had a nice reversal up reversal higher day uh, dollar yen on the dailies got close we've got our orders in here to sell through 60 Sell some more through 50 and more through 25. We do think of 105, the figure breaks. Uh, it's going to be a swift move down to the mid 103s, 102s, but nothing going there. I mean, trying to sell low, low dollar yen has been next to impossible. Uh, so we've got the RBA minutes coming out. We've got, uh, you know, the G20 coming up this weekend. Uh, you know, there will be headlines going forward this week from some of the G20 participants. But I guess the focus for us really is uh, to keep an eye on the NASDAQ and the S&Ps. They're getting to some interesting levels, breakage levels, where we think we can get a deeper retracement. And yen crosses should follow, I would think. Um, pay attention to the... Australian dollar around these minutes. Not expecting much out of that, but uh, under a little bit of selling pressure here early in Asia. Uh, take a look here at the hourly stuff. Yeah, so we're down a little bit. Watch this low here at 76.87. See if we can get more selling on uh, if they do come out a little bit. Uh, they sound, they're starting to sound dovish. And let's not forget this uh, this Japanese, the, the Prime Minister, he's been accused of helping that school operator secure, secure a cut price land deal. Um, this doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. And I don't can't show you the chart. Maybe I can. <coughs> the cabinet approval, nah, I can't, I can't, it's on a different computer. The cabinet approval rating for uh, Shinzo Abe is it fell sharply despite his denials of any involvement in the cover-up uh, in the, of the documents in the land deal. But uh, people are starting to question his authority and his, uh, you know, how honest has he been? Uh, this could continue to get get legs, and uh, that would be a swift move down in dollar yen. I could see it. If the headlines hit where he is basically thrown out, and if ASO or anyone else in the Treasury Department, uh, that could that could be a quick move down, you know, below 105, and a like it could be a swift move down to near 100. We probably need some risk off in the equities as well to get to get that. Uh, really for that to take place, but uh, something on a radar. Anyhow, I'm rambling. It's getting late. It's been a long day. Good luck trading. You'll hear from us on the European Open. Cheers.